Our devotional thought from Proverbs today is a very, very strong one. It deals with the cost of sexual immorality, or maybe we could put it this way, God's promises to the sexually immoral. The world acts today as if sexual immorality makes a person cool, that it gives them a great future, that the guy is really cool. And I've, I've even heard young ladies, and I've even heard pastoras who, they're very happy that their fiancé has experience before they get married. And you just look at it and you go, whatever happened to keeping yourself clean for the marriage bed? Now, I can remember as a young man, guys being told, oh, he got lucky. And by lucky, it meant he got to commit sexual immorality with a girl. It's not cool and it's not lucky. I want you to notice what directly occurs because of sexual immorality. Start reading with me in Proverbs chapter 5, verse 7. So now, my son, listen to me. Never stray from what I'm about to say. Stay away from her. Don't go near the door of her house. If you do, you will lose your honor and lose to merciless people all you have achieved. Strangers will consume your wealth. Someone else will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In the end, you will groan in anguish when disease consumes your body. You will say, how I hated discipline. If only I had not ignored all the warnings. Oh, why didn't I listen to my teachers? Why did I not pay attention to my instructors? I have come to the brink of utter ruin, and now I must face public disgrace. Grabe talaga. Did you hear what the scriptures just laid out for us? The cost of sexual immorality. It's not a thing of honor. You lose your honor. Number two, everything you built in life is lost to merciless people. People who won't even have any mercy on you. Strangers, verse 10, will consume your wealth. Someone else will enjoy the fruit of your labor. Everything you built, everything you worked hard, somebody else is going to enjoy. Disease will consume your body. You'll be brought to the brink of utter ruin and you face public disgrace. That is the price of sexual immorality. Please, let's keep our life clean. Young men and young women, keep yourself as a virgin until your marriage night. Save yourself for one another in Jesus' name. And let me make you a promise. If you'll do that, you'll find it's a lot easier to live sexually clean after you get married because you've got no memories, you've got no experience for the devil to work with. Keep your life sexually clean or pay the price.